What's up, YouTube? We got a yo-yo review to do today. This is the SF Yo-Yo's Ceasefire. <music> the F stands for Ceasefire, apparently. Um, so the Ceasefire is uh, the signature, the shared signature yo-yo of Alec Jones and Colin Ellingson. So, uh, I guess SF made these guys share yo-yo because they can't agree on anything and they thought it would be funny to make them do that. Um, honestly, that, uh, I guess rivalry made a brilliant yo-yo. Uh, this thing is phenomenal. Let's look at, let, let's look at it a little bit, shall we? So we got this nice bell H shape here. Very nice, uh, just, just very good looking. In general, I just like these. These shapes are near and dear to my heart. I really, really like them. Um, the ring is on the inside here. Uh, pretty standard for newer button bimetals today. That's that's where a lot of the rings end up being uh, instead of just clamping them on the end there. Although I think this is the first for SF to do it this way. Uh, I like that it's got a nipple. It's got a very long axle too. I've taken it apart. Very cool. Uh, the cuts in there look real good as well. Look at that. Kind of like juts in, pops back out there. Just a nice bell over H shape. And uh, it, this thing is super smooth, as you would expect from all SF yo-yos. Butter smooth. Uh, if you look here too, it rounds over nicely before the uh, response pad, uh, which makes it feel like it's just beautifully coming off of the string. It's really kind of just like a luxury feeling. You know, driving this car is sort of like driving uh, a Mercedes Benz or something like that. Just a really nice one, but it's also very quick, very nimble on the string, and it really just ticks all the boxes for me. I really, really, really like this yo-yo. Yeah, yeah. um, but uh, information, oh, but how do I get one? SF yo-yos sell out so quickly, blah, blah, blah. Tomorrow, so actually today, as you're seeing this, the 26th, these drop in black, I believe is the 26th, and then a rose gold, I think, drops on the 30th of December. Uh, you guys don't want to miss this. Because uh, it's an FF, SF uh, and it's just SF, there are team member signatures. I would imagine they're probably just about $90 or $100. That's usually where the SFs run, um, depending on colors usually. Sometimes the fades end up being like 110 or something, but about 100 bucks, right around in that price range. Uh, if you didn't get exactly what you want for Christmas, I assure you this is exactly what you want for Christmas. Go pick this up, because this thing is phenomenal. Uh, I'm kind of, I did my like best of the year and then this showed up and this drops this year. Uh, this would have been on that list. This is the best bimetal yo-yo SF has ever put out. Uh, possibly, it's, I would say I like this almost as much, about as much as I like the Cadence. I haven't had it as long as I've had the Cadence and I'm throwing the Cadence a lot more. But I'd say I like this almost as much as I like the Cadence. This is a really good yo-yo. And it's a really good bimetal. It's a really good use of a bimetal. And it's just sort of groovy. But uh, maybe I shouldn't just blah, blah, blah about it. Let me throw it around a little bit. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, it gets dark super early. So we're going to throw in here because we got good light. First thing you notice on throw is that it's pretty powerful and very stable. But it doesn't feel like stiff. You know what I mean? Like sometimes bimetals feel stiff. Very nice in that regard. Basically spins forever, as you would expect a bimetal to. Kind of nice, almost... Floaty's the wrong word. It's not floaty. But it's like... Smooth. It flows nicely. It's just a really well-designed, really, really good weight-distributed yo-yo. Got something in my bearing, but that's okay. Hasn't stopped spinning yet. Nice. So, just really long spinning, really stable, stays on plane. Uh, I mean, you know, everything you would want this yo-yo to do. It's like the yo-yo you want to bring to a competition. It's for competition players. So, there you go. Okay, it's like my Deadpool shirt. Merry Christmas. Grind finish, as always, beautiful, dead smooth, grinds for days, perfection. Uh, 
Thumb grind's pretty doable too, although I don't really like putting my thumbnail on stainless steel. Like uh, that feels weird to me. It's brushed and polished and it's nice, but I don't know. I don't like to do that so much. Not a fan. I can work that out. But uh, you can thumb grind. There's plenty of room to do it. Finger spins. Not really a finger spin yo-yo, but uh, you can get them. Not too hard. And, uh... Binds real nice, too. I like the, uh... I like what SF uses for their, uh... Response pads. It always ends up being real nice. Working really good. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, this thing's just great. It really, really is a nice yo-yo. And, uh... You know, SF always puts out good stuff, and I think they're always trying to get a little better, and I think every yo-yo is a little better than the last. Uh, I think they succeeded this time. I don't know if it's better than the Cadence, but I'd say it's at least around as good as the Cadence, uh, which is... You guys know how I felt about the Cadence. I really liked it. I thought it was one of the best of the year. Uh, this is at least as good, if not... I don't know. I might like this better. I'm not sure yet. I just got it. I don't want to be that guy who's like, Oh, it's the newest yo-yo. It's the best thing. But if you guys didn't get what you want for Christmas, you want one of these. They really, really are fantastic. Missed. But uh, let's go ahead and we will take this bad boy apart. I'll show you guys what the insides look like. All right, let's pop this bad boy open. I'll show you guys the insides. So, super long axle, which I like. I definitely got something in the bearing, because it's rattling now, but it's not so bad. It still spins. I'll just clean it up later, but uh, that cat's roaming around. But uh, standard SF, uh, like center track type bearing. Still spins pretty good, even though I'm pretty sure there's cat hair in that. Really super long axle. Uh, just look how long that, that's super long. Which I like. Uh, so no no threat of ever stripping this yo-yo, that's for sure. Grinds phenomenally. Comes apart nice. Hey, let me show you guys the insides here. If you look, here it's got this nice little swoop up there. This would be great for horizontal stuff too because of this little swoop here would keep the string from dragging on the uh, yo-yo. It would cut, cuts down on the drag. Also, uh, just see how this like kind of step rounds over. That's just so you don't get that ping sound as like the yo-yo hits the string and comes off of it if you're not hitting it dead on um really just nice it kind of just for me that's like one of those things that really kind of makes it that attention to detail so much better in a yo-yo design um for me and uh came apart real nice goes back together real nice like i don't anticipate this ever having stripping issues or anything like that um so, I mean, this would even be a good EDC, just because of even how the, the bimetal ring is inserted. It's, like, inside as opposed to just clamped on the outside. Um, I like the nipple. It's good. It's not in the way. You can still finger spin around it if you want to. And uh, it's just really stable, really long spinning, really good. Uh, so let's do pros and cons. Pros, uh, long spinning, super stable. Uh, great blast finish. SF always does a great blast finish. They may have the best, like, grind finish consistently across yo-yos they're they're fantastic with it um nice you know standard center track bearing great response pads uh very good response out of the box at first th it's not even a yo-yo you have to get used to it's like it, it's a yo-yo that's gonna feel familiar but at the same time like new and exciting and you're gonna love it on your first throw it's that kind of yo-yo it's not a yo-yo that has to grow on you and i really appreciate that i feel like sf keeps that like Keep, keep it simple, stupid. They sort of keep it down. Like, you like it right off the bat. And uh, you're going to like this right off the bat. Finger spins are okay. I'd say that might be a con for some people. This is a signature yo-yo. So, uh, you know, these are how the guys designed it. So, finger spins are going to be a little tough on it. But it's not. They're doable. Uh, you know, if you want a finger spin yo-yo, get a finger spin yo-yo. This is not that. Uh, thumb grinds, because uh, of the way that rim's designed. I don't like it for thumb grinds. Because I don't like the way my thumbnail feels on stainless steel. But... You know, it's it, it's not bad. You can totally do it. It's big enough. You can get it on there. Uh, I'd say those are really the only... They're not really even cons. Those are just sort of like, well, 
It doesn't do this as well, but it's not really designed for that. Uh, this would be a competition slayer. I imagine you'll see plenty of guys rocking this all through uh, the next year through competitions. Uh, it's really good, really stable, really long spinning. This is everything you want a competition yo-yo to be. Kind of a little bit on the wider side, but you know, dead smooth as well, which is always really nice. And uh, I don't know, it's just there's something about it. They really, really did a nice job with this. I know I say this every time I have an SF yo-yo, but. SF really does a nice job every time. They really put the attention to detail in, and uh, they really put together a nice product. And this is really a nice EIO. So uh, today, it drops. Today, the 26th, it drops. Uh, check SF. All the links and stuff are down in the description. Uh, you're going to want to check out S sfyoyos.com. We will be able to get them as well. But I've seen these are going to be on Yo-Yo Expert at some point. So these will be out as well at the retail stores if you don't get one at SF. SF does pretty good size runs now. They want to make sure you guys have yo-yos to play, so they make sure they get some to retail stores. They sell some on their site. They do a really good job, and they do really good, nice things with yo-yos. So uh, you guys really need to check this one out. Uh, I really like it a lot. Uh, shout out to the guys over at SF. This actually just showed up here like Saturday, and uh, thanks to them for getting one out to me. Uh, you guys really are going to like this. I really like it a lot. Uh, but thanks so much for watching, guys. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.